Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time. I've been stressed and stressed and stressed. So we decided we're gonna fix the car. We're gonna take it to Kentucky. We tried to find a couple of local shops around here to fix the car, but couldn't really find anybody to do the repair on the frame. And this is why we're going to go to Kentucky to this guy named Quinn's chassis shop. Well, I think it's Quinn, Quinn Shepherd. But I think they, he calls it Quinn's chassis shop. Anyway, we'll leave a link down below for that if anybody wants to see any of that. But uh, what we're going to do with the car, we're going to use, he's basically going to fix the whole front clip and try to do some work on the strut tower. And while he has it down there, we're going to get the cage finished out for it. And while we got it there, we're going to mini tub it. And I think that's going to be a big factor for the car on the 60 foot. We're going to do coilovers in the back. And to do the coilovers and the mini tub, we had to get different wheels. Cause you can look right here, we're running a donut right now because indirectly blew the tire out. But yeah, we're, we ordered uh, some RC comp wheels, which I'll show you them probably in the next couple videos. But yeah, we're pretty excited to see where this thing's gonna come. Our goal is to try to get it to Bowling Green at the Mustang World Finals. We only got like maybe five or six weeks left. I mean, it's really gonna be tough. I mean, Quinn says he can uh, get this car done in a couple weeks, as long as I get parts. Uh, but yeah, we're all excited. Another thing, we're going to video the whole car on the build. I want you guys, I mean, if you guys wanna stay tuned with the build, uh, we are going to go to, we are going to rebuild the whole car. I mean, we're talking paint job and new wheels and I mean, I'm, I'm even considering putting a turbo 400 in it because I like no prep and I think the 6R80 is more of a street transmission with a overdrive and I think I'd be more happy with a turbo 400. But that's this winter. I'm still gonna keep the 6R80 in there for now. We're gonna get the front clip fixed on it. Uh, we got some damage right here by the strut tower. You see where that's pushed in. I'm hoping maybe he can fix that with the factory, uh, factory re relocation where we don't have to put halo hoops on it. We'll see. I mean, I'm not for sure what's going to go, what he's going to do there. And like in, this, in the car, in the interior, uh, like the middle console's all busted. You can see all that. But I got a lot of the parts for this. But like I said, you know, that ain't going to make, that's not going to stop us to race it. Plus you can look at the donut. God, that looks good. But you can go over here on the other side of the car. It looks a little bit better because it's still, we got the champions over here. But yeah, we're all excited. We're going to rebuild this baby. But there's a lot, I mean, I got to get fenders for it. Got to get a bumper cover for it. And, you know, since we got the front clip, he's gonna have to make mounting for the fenders and the bumper covers, which I don't think that'll be a big deal at all. Guys, stay tuned for tomorrow, because we're gonna head to Kentucky, and I gotta load this turd up, and uh, see you guys tomorrow.
much for this. Hey guys, we're down here at Louisville, down here at Quinn's Chassis Shop. Yeah, he's doing a hell of a job on this car. He's got it gutted out. We're doing mini tubs. We're gonna finish out the cage. He's got the front end about done on it. It's pretty good. Got new wheels. We got two weeks before Bowling Green. We might make it. see you guys on the next video if you guys like this video like and subscribe and uh see you next time thanks